in the 1960s, helicopter technology made rapid progress, especially with the use of turboshaft engines, which gave helicopters unprecedented maneuverability. It was with the support of this hardware that specialized armed helicopters began to emerge, and the Sikorsky S-67 Black Hawk was an early design in the United States. In 1964, the U.S. military proposed an advanced air firepower support system, which was essentially a desire for a heavily armed helicopter. At this time, there were many problems to be faced. Although there had been previous experience in installing machine guns and rocket launchers on regular helicopters, people still didn't know what an armed helicopter should be designed like. The Sikorsky S-67 is a larger-sized helicopter, and its concept is somewhat similar to the Mi-24 of the same period. The original design company proposed a high-speed model, the S-66, but it temporarily lost to the Lockheed AH-56 Cheyenne in competition. However, things in the world are always unpredictable, and Lockheed's design quickly encountered problems with cost and development time. Sikorsky seized the opportunity to turn the tables and developed the S-67 based on the S-61 Sea King helicopter. The related design work began in November 1969 with John A. McKenna, the executive vice president of Sikorsky, in charge of the project. The aircraft made its first flight in August of the following year. The company claimed that the S-67 was a fusion of new design concepts and mature technology. In other words, the S-67 was technologically mature and reliable, while also possessing the combat capabilities of an armed helicopter and could be quickly mass-produced and put into service. This rhetoric was clearly aimed at the Lockheed AH-56, as everyone wanted to occupy the market first. Speaking of the helicopter itself, the S-67 uses a five-blade main rotor, which is a structure derived from the S-61 helicopter. In addition to having fairings, it also has a 20-degree swept angle at the blade tips. This design can avoid uncontrollable oscillations of the main rotor during high-speed rotation. During testing, the blade tip speed remained stable even at 0.96 Mach, allowing the helicopter to fly at higher speeds. It is powered by two General Electric T-58 GE-5 engines with a single engine power of 1,100 kiloballers. There are small-sized wings on both sides of the fuselage, similar to the Mi-24. These wings also provide lift, allowing the aircraft to have a certain gliding capability in the event of loss of control, reducing the impact force of a crash landing. In contrast, the other armed helicopter, the AH-64, relies on exposed landing gear for cushioning. In addition, since the S-67 itself pursues high speed, its landing gear is retractable, reducing drag during flight. There are air brakes behind the wings, which allow the helicopter to decelerate quickly and adjust its flight attitude. The helicopter has a tandem cockpit, equipped with a moving map display, night vision system, radio, and other equipment. It has a rich array of weapon configurations. Below the cockpit is a turret housing a three-barreled 20mm cannon. The wings on both sides can carry up to 16 tow anti-tank missiles or 70mm rocket launchers or AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. Like the Mi-24, the S-67 retains a passenger cabin and can carry six soldiers on the prototype. The company plans to make adjustments for the production version, with some articles claiming that it can carry up to 15 soldiers. This carrying capacity seems unlikely, as armed helicopters combine maneuverability, firepower, and protection. Overemphasizing transport capacity would compromise other indicators. However, this claim might pique the interest of the military. The Seoul S-67 prototype performed very well during flight tests and even broke helicopter speed records. It could easily perform acrobatic maneuvers such as rolls and S-flights. However, it was involved in an accident at the 1974 Van Nuys Air Show. The crew made a misjudgment during flight, causing the aircraft to crash and catch fire. One pilot died on the spot, and another was seriously injured and later died. After this incident, the development of the S-67 came to a halt. As for the competition for armed helicopters, the ultimate winner was the belated AH-64 Apache, 
The military ultimately did not choose the S-67 for its high-speed performance and soldier-carrying capacity. The Sikorsky S-67 armed helicopter has an empty weight of 56 and 76 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 1,002 kilograms. The aircraft is 22.66 meters long, with a wingspan of 8.33 meters and a rotor diameter of 18.9 meters. Its maximum flight speed is 301 kilometers per hour, cruising speed is 220 kilometers per hour, and maximum altitude is 5,200 meters. When powered by a single engine, the maximum flight altitude is 1,400 meters. The crew consists of two people, and the prototype can carry approximately six soldiers. 